Hi everyone, good day. So it's me again, Jelly. So for today's video, we will gonna talk about um, why Filipinos or why many Filipinos don't have a job. Why they don't have a for opportunity to get a job. So shall we start? <laughs> So here in Philippines, there are many unlucky Filipinos because they don't have a higher education. And most companies will accept a applicants with a high education, especially for a college graduate. So now, why is it um, Filipinos or only like only few Filipinos or not only few, but many Filipinos don't have opportunity to get or to have a job why is it why they don't have um why they have less opportunity to get a job why why is it happening here in philippines and here in philippines we have here a hundred plus millions of filipinos and we also have many businesses here and why is it happening this here in philippines so now i will give you the reasons why there are many filipinos don't have a job why so first reason is the high qualification so when applicants applying to a job in a company they will require a high qualifications such as um you need to you need to have a you need to have a at least um, college level or a college graduate so that is one of the one of the uh, most qualification that they are going to ask or yeah to ask from you so if you don't have or if you're not in college degree what will again happen to you yes that's why many filipinos got uh yeah many filipinos don't get a job or don't get a very nice job or decent job so even a sales lady in a company if you're going to apply a sales lady you need to have a beautiful face a smart skin a white skin fair skin no darks especially your elbows your knees and you have a clean body or a clean skin yeah because they're going to uh, you're go you're going to screen you from that and that is the reason why if you go to the if you go into the mall there are so many beautiful sales lady here in the market there's a lot of beautiful sales ladies and many of those sales ladies are college graduate and you know the salary it is very low so it is very little there is a little salary and high qualifications why is it because you know what if you're going to get a degree here in philippines it should be your passion that is much to your passion and if you're going to apply a job it should be much to your course because that is a high um, high chance for you to get the job so because of the high qualification based on my experience when i finished my nursing associate course so when i finished my nursing associate course i was applying in the hospital and since i'm still waiting for the calls from the hospital i need to find another job if the hospital won't accept me as a nurse aide um i have an extra or i have a next choice or a next choice to or a next or another job to get or yeah another job to get so yeah i apply as a sales lady and i've done my i send them my resume my um what is that called resume and uh, qualifications i forgot about that so i send them the two requirements and they told me that they will call me next few days or next week i don't know when after one week one week 
I waited, yeah, I waited one week and I never received any calls from them. So I was a nurse aide and applying as a sales lady. So my course and the job, it is not much. So there is a high tendency or possibility that they won't accept you because your, um, your course and the job, it is not much. So if you're, if you're a nurse aide, nurse aide in the hospital won't accept you, then you will apply as a caregiver. That is your last option. So here in the Philippines, if you're going to get your course, it should be your passion so that when you apply a job one day, you will apply a, if you're, if you're having a, like me, like I was a nurse aide, so it should be possible that I will apply in the hospital or as a caregiver. So since it is high qualifications, and there are so many companies that hiring a applicants for them to, uh, to work for them. So this is my tips for young Filipinos or for fresh grad graduates over, over there or here in Philippines. That if you're going to apply a job, it should be, you should be applying five to 10 companies because you, uh, five, to ten, five to 10 companies. And that is the time that you have a lot of, you have many options where you are fit in. Yes. Because, you know what, if you're applying only one job and you're waiting a whole one to two weeks, it is a le less, or yeah, it's a less chance for you to get a job. So if you're seeking for a job and want to earn money as soon as possible, you need to apply five to ten jobs in one day if possible the next reason to why uh, many filipinos don't have a job so the next reasons is the government connections yeah why is it important to have a government connection because me as me i was a nurse aide and i, I was applying in the hospital and if i don't have connection in the hospital it is a less chance for me to get the job because the better, um, the more you have, the more you have connections from the government, it is a high chance or high possibility for you to get the job. Because the government or the government connections or one of the government employees will help you to, to process and to be, to be connected to the HR for you to be qualified. Yeah, that is the main reasons why I really hate Philippines. Because um, what if that applicant is a, she don't have a, she, she have skills, but uh, it is not the same like the others. Like the, some applicants are um, very like skill, they have lots of skills. They have lots of quali qualifications that they are qualified for the job. And if they're applying and the government, because of the government, they are hired. That is a very risky to the customers or to the patients or to the clients. So I don't know why many Filipinos don't think about that. See, if you're applying as a manager and you one of your um, company connections are um, because of them you are hired, what if you don't have um, you don't have many skills or a lot of skills to become a manager or you are not qualified to become a manager and they hired you what will then happen to the company so you know what it is very important that you are qualified without any connections you are hired without any connections but because of corruptions and many filipinos are after for an easy like filipinos are one uh, easy easy pc like easy um easy process but they don't think what is the big they don't think about the big impact or the bad impact for the company so hopefully many filipinos will gonna watch this videos and yeah especially for businessmen they will they should think first that this person or this applicant is very qualified for the company to manage <sighs> it boilings my blood the next reason why many Filipinos don't have a job or don't get a chance to get their dream job. The next reason is it is very it 
is very costly since yeah you're fresh graduates you don't have money and you're applying a job and when you apply a job you get hired but when you get hired there's a lot of requirements you know what the requirements are 13 to 15 requirements or more and those requirements needs money for you to process and how can you process those requirements if you don't have enough money or you don't have money to to spend for those requirements yeah you're applying a job because you don't have money and when you get hired there's a lot of requirements and those requirements are very costly how could you enter the job if you don't have so here in philippines if you're applying a job you should have your money you should have enough financial for you for you to spend for the requirements and while applying a job because if you came from the province going to the city you should have your five thousand is not enough yes for me it is not enough because you're paying your rent your water bills your electricity your food your transport and the lastly if you get hired your requirements and if you already have your requirements you need to buy a uniform for you because you know what as, as i've noticed that here in dumagata city most companies are yeah the sales lady or the salesman are the one paying for the uniforms they don't provide the uni uniforms for free so what happened to your applicants if they don't have capacity to buy those to buy those things you're hiring people so you will provide everything for these applicants because this applicants he will be he will be having a, he will give a big contributions for your company but i don't see anything that they are um they are um looking or thinking about what is for the applicants or for the employee that is a very sad moment so now i will give you a few examples about what are those requirements so for applying a job why it is very costly first you need to get your sss so sss is a social security system so by processing those the requirements you need you need money because i don't know how much the payment in the sss but still the transport are expensive like tricycle going back and forth back and forth and i think they have online um online registration now but still you need to go to the office when your registration is approved yes and that is very sss is very important when you get older you can use that and next requirements is the pag ibig i don't know what is the use of pag, -ib pag ibig but bongbong mark oh no yeah bongbong marcos was declared that um pag ibig funds because they said that if you're uh, if you are contributing some money, if you're contributing money to the Pag-Ibig funds, um, you can borrow money. I don't know what more, um, what is more benefits for that. But yes, Pag-Ibig funds is you, you can borrow, borrow money if you have some emergencies. And next is the PhilHealth. So PhilHealth, that is very important too because if there is emergency in the family or emergency while working or anywhere there is something happened to you and you, you they um you're admitted in the hospital so you can get a discount from your bills so that's a very very big help that three it should be only the requirements but there is a lot more the medical certificate so yeah, that's important to the med cert, but they will get they will also require you to get uh, to process or to get your x ray, x ray records, CBC, urinalysis, and the drug test. And those medicals, um, me medical cost or medical requirements are very costly here. So, 
many many of the applicants or the employees can afford those they are applying because they don't have money and when they are applying there's a lot of requirements and needs a lot of money how they can how they can survive borrowing money and pay for the medicals me, medical requirements then when they are working they will pay that one and how much the salary so for regular people they only for the regular workers they only receive the min, the minimum salary which is 420 to 500 pesos and that is $8 8 to 10 dollars only for one day and how about the costs for the uniforms for the requirements it takes long for them to to get back those money they need to work work hard for that oh my god so why is it hard to for a fresh graduate to get a job why is it hard yes i will give you this you know what how uh, many people complaining about this but many companies also requiring these things if a fresh graduate or you are in um or in a business you're a fresh graduate in business administration and you're applying in the bank i know that is very risky and they need a employee or a people that are um that has a lot of knowledge and experience about banking but many companies you know what many companies you're a fresh graduate right but many companies are requiring you to have at least one half or one half a year or two years experience of banking that is example you need to have they will qualify you if you have one to two years um, experience and you're a fresh graduate and how could you start a job if they are requiring a <laughs> if they're requiring an experience how could you experience things or about that kind of job if they won't accept you it's okay if they will accept you but you need to start in a low level or yeah from a starting point but they won't accept you because that you don't have the experience how can a fresh graduate can can get the job or yeah can get the job if he is a fresh graduate and how could she have an experience if the company won't accept her that is a funny thing happen so next reason why it is hard for a fresh graduate to apply or to get the job first a second reason it is um his job and his scores is not connected so yeah that is a like obvious or like it is obvious that um the company won't accept him because you are graduated in a business administration and you're going to apply as an it so that is high like a low chance that you cannot you cannot get that kind of job because it is not connected they're looking for the skills um for you to for them to accept you on that kind of job next is no government connection you know what there's many of fresh graduate um had been have been accepted to a company because they have connections from the government the government helped them to get the job and if you don't have connections it's a low chance for you to get the job so why there are many filipinos are um they don't have a permanent job so first reason is they don't have a permanent job because of the contract many and um, all of the companies or unless the um the low or the small company but for the big companies and big businesses they will require you to have a contract you need to sign that contract and that contract is only six months mostly six months only and yeah you're spending a lot of money for the requirements for applying a for applying a job requirements your rent your food and everything and after six months you will end that uh, you need to end your 
Yeah, that is the end of your contract. And you spend a lot of money. So how could you survive in life? That's why many Filipinos are um, suffering right now because of that kind of um that kind of how they yeah how they treat to employees and how they implement that to employees about a six months contract because you know what some company won't accept you again if you end your contract and you're not um because some many of the workers if if they end that contract and apply for a regular position if they can get that regular position that is okay but if not they cannot go back or reapply again to that same company they need to find another company or to get a job yes that is very hard and yes another another cost or another expenses again like paying for the uniforms requirements blah blah, blah and more so how could the sales lady or how could this employees um like grow himself if that is happening to him repeatedly my goodness the last two reasons why a, a many filipinos don't have a permanent job um this is i oh know this is not two last reasons or this is three yes three reasons the last three reasons is um many filipinos are want to upgrade so want to upgrade another position so they quit the job and reapply to another company which is a with a very good treatment very good salary and also the benefits because filipinos also are looking for that and the second to the last is you know about filipino time oh my goodness many filipinos are yeah, many filipinos are doing the filipino time and they always get late a lot of times and that is a very, very bad impact, bad, big impact to the company. So the company will think that you are not capable to work this kind of position. And yeah, you are not responsible. You are irresponsible. That is a very big effect to the company. So they will terminate you. So that is the reason why also many Filipinos don't have a permanent job. And the last one is laziness yeah some filipinos are lazy lazy to work because maybe um they came from a family that they used to their parents used to feed them every day and they don't teach them how to how to stand by his own by himself so that's all everyone hopefully you will learn something about this and this is all about philippines and hopefully um my viewers learn something about this and those in informations are based or yeah, based on the reality on about Filipino experiencing right now. So thank you everyone and please um uh, yeah, not please, but thank you so much for always supporting me. And now we are almost one thousand subscribers. So thank you so much everyone and please I will always remind us that don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. And that's all. Have a great day and good night here in Philippines. Bye, everyone. Love.